హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రీనివాస్ మీరు చూస్తున్నారు కేబీ టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ క్లాసెస్ ఎంతగా ప్రాక్టీస్ చేసిన ఎక్స్పర్ట్ సలహాలు సూచనలు లేకుంటే మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ను వంట పట్టించుకోవడం విద్యార్థులకు కష్టమే అందుకే మ్యాథ్స్ పరీక్ష అంటే విద్యార్థులు బెంబేలెత్తిపోతుంటారు ఈ టెండెన్సీ ఇంటర్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్లో అయితే మరీ ఎక్కువగా కనిపిస్తుంది ఈ అంశాన్ని దృష్టిలో ఉంచుకునే కేఏబీ టెలివిజన్ ప్రత్యేకంగా ఉచితంగా ఈ క్లాసెస్ నిర్వహిస్తోంది ఈ క్లాసెస్లో కలిగే సందేహాల నివృత్తికి ఈ ట్యూషన్స్ కూడా ప్రారంభించబోతున్నామని తెలిపేందుకు సంతోషిస్తున్నాం ముందుగా ఇవాళ మ్యాథ్స్ టూ ఏ క్లాసులోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నిన్నటి ఎపిసోడ్లో ప్రాబబిలిటీ టాపిక్ కు సంబంధించి ఇన్క్లూజివ్ అండ్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ గురించి తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఈరోజు ఎపిసోడ్లో బైనామియల్ థియరమ్ టాపిక్ కు సంబంధించి కొన్ని ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ తెలుసుకుందాం మరి ఈ టాపిక్ ను మ్యాథ్స్ బోధనలో విశేష అనుభవం గల నాగశ్రీ గారు వివరిస్తారు how to find this for this basically i'll take 1 plus x whole power n is sigma cr x power r basic expansion 1 plus x whole power n we can get r plus 1 in the denominator by integrating this so i'll integrate from 0 to x here also 0 to x normal integration this side sigma cr x power r plus 1 by r plus 1 from 0 to x and here 1 plus x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 from 0 to x by substituting here you will get 1 plus x whole power n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 sigma cr x power that is 1 power uh, x power r plus 1 minus 0 by r plus 1 r runs from 0 to n. To get this uh, substitute x is equal to 1. So you will get sigma cr by r plus 1 r runs from 0 to n is equal to 2 power n plus 1 minus n by n plus 1. So, with this uh, many more also we can derive like uh, sigma minus 1 to the power of r cr by r plus 1 0 to n. So, as we know in the place of x, if 1 minus x is there, then we will get sigma minus 1 power r cr x power r, r runs from 0 to n. Now, same integration from 0 to x. This is minus 1 minus x whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 from 0 to x is minus 1 to the power of r c r x power r plus 1 by r plus 1 from 0 to x. This side this is minus 1 to the power of r c r by r plus 1 x power r plus 1 and this side minus 1 minus x whole power n plus 1 and uh, minus of minus plus 1 by n plus 1. Now, let x is equal to 1 in this. Then, sigma minus 1 to the power of r c r by r plus 1 r runs from 0 to n is equal to 1 by n plus 1. So, two things we are able to do. 
two things using integration. This is sigma C r by r plus 1 sigma minus 1 to the power of r into C r by r plus 1. Now, by adding these two we can get some result by subtracting these two also we can get some result that also we will see now. That is sigma C 2 r by 2 r plus 1 that end we do not know because C 2 r should be defined. So, how to find this? This is nothing but half of sigma C r by r plus 1 plus sigma minus 1 to the power of r C r by r plus 1. half of this is nothing but this you see C naught by 1 plus C 1 by 1 plus C 2 by 2, C 2 by 3 plus C 3 by 4 and so on. This is C naught by 1 minus C 1 by 2 plus C 2 by 3 and so on. Only if this is even they will be left out the remaining will be cancelled they will come two times that only this one. So, according to this uh, as we know this is 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 and this is uh, 1 by n plus 1 finally, 2 power n by n plus 1 this is final result sigma c 2 r by 2 r plus 1. So, in the same way the remaining sigma C 2 r plus 1 r runs from 2 r plus 2 r runs from 0 to that the end point we do not know till it is permitted. So, this is nothing but a half of sigma C r by r plus 1 r runs from 0 to n minus sigma minus 1 to the power of r C r by r plus 1 r runs from 0 to n. So, this is half into 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 that comes out to be 2 power n minus 1 by n plus 1. Sigma c 2 r by 2 r plus 1 and sigma 2 r plus 1 by 2 r plus 2. This is one method. One application of binomial theorem. Some more applications may be given. Sigma, sigma, C i, C j such that this one. This can be written in another way also. Sigma sigma i is equal to 0 to n, j is equal to 0 to n, c i c j. This is one type of summation of binomial coefficients. So, for this for every i and j actually in this summation connection between this i and j sometimes i is less than j those cases will be there and i is greater than j those cases will be there and i is equal to j those cases will be there. i is less than j and i is greater than j the number of these terms and the number of these terms are same actually they are same and uh, i is equal to j. So, this I can write as sigma sigma c i c j twice of this plus sigma sigma i is equal to j c i c j like this. So, of course, this is very simple sigma 
C i C j means C i C i. So, C i square sigma C i square sigma C i square is 2 n C n this already we know. And what is this sigma sigma C i C j i is always less than j that is a Two power two n minus two n c n by two. So finally, this is two power two n minus two n c n plus two n c n. So two power two. N. Or this can be done in another way. This is sigma 1 sigma i is equal to 0 to n c i sigma c j j equal to 0 to n that is a 2 power n. So, 2 power n into sigma c i i equal to 0 to n this is also 2 power n. So, 2 power n into 2 power n 2 power 2 n this is another way this is one way this is one other way. So, finally, this is equal to 2 power 2 n. Suppose it is asked to find only this one sigma sigma 